Hey everybody, it is Todd with Trails Off-Road and today we are just outside of Phoenix, Arizona at Box Canyon in Florence. And to find our amazing trail guide for this trail, go to trailsoffroad.com or find Trails Off-Road in the app stores. Now let's get into the action. You're going to want to start this trail early in the morning because it does get very, very busy out there. Now we got really lucky because it had just rained before we got out on the trail so it was nice and wet and extra green. When you're out there it's really important when you drive through these puddles to keep the splash to a minimum as to not damage any of the flora beside the trail. Now there are a few box canyons in Arizona but none quite like this one. It has that classic and iconic Arizona landscape with saguaros lining the trail and dotting the landscape with mysterious mountains off in the background. As you get closer to the mouth of the canyon, the road turns into your typical Arizona trail traveling through washes. Just before the western entrance of the canyon, there are several large campsites that you're surely going to want to check out. The canyon floors and the washes have collected the rain from the day before, making for a beautiful trip through Box Canyon. Box Canyon technically is not a box canyon, it's more like a slot canyon. A box canyon has only one single entrance and exit. Here we're going to go through where it gets very narrow and end up on Mineral Mountain Road. The anticipation builds of entering the tight canyon. At its mouth, it seems like it's protected by Sycamore and Palo Verde. Depending on recent weather events, the road surface can be fairly smooth or the road could be really filled with a lot of rocks to climb over. However, when it comes to rocks, there's always one constant, and that is Poser Rock. That's a good there you shot go. right there. Just stay like that, you're out clean. Oh yeah, it feels good. You may not want to stay at Poser Rock that long because the most stimulating portions of the trail are just ahead. Certain sections of the canyon will be very wide and allow passing while others are going to be extremely narrow and only one vehicle width wide. The canyon walls are covered in a very colorful lichen and depending on the time of day that you drive through, it could just be gleaming yellow and green. If you're claustrophobic, you might not like Box Canyon because it does get tight for a good mile. and it happens to be one of the tightest canyons you can drive in in the entire country. What also makes Box Canyon so special is that it's part of a network of trails. You can get onto Box Canyon and then go multiple different directions. It's really a special place.
There are no dull moments as you drive Box Canyon. The road is constantly curving and presenting some type of new plant life to look at, new formation in the wall, new patterns, new colors. It truly is an iconic trail just outside of Phoenix, Arizona. As you exit the canyon, the road turns right back into just being your typical desert wash trail. Hey, keep going, buddy. Epic. You have several options. You can take Box Canyon just for a couple hours, or you can go for a day, or you can go for a couple days exploring all the trails in this remarkable and colorful desert landscape. There are a few more things on this Box Canyon trail that make it enjoyable. And one is obviously all of the desert plant life, such as the choya, the saguaros. And when the saguaros bloom, it's really an incredible sight. And then in the winter, you have kettle bush that blooms. These are the yellow flowers that you see. And then of course, the prickly pear cactus. All right, check out these petroglyphs. Then of course you have this ancient land which has been inhabited for thousands and thousands of years. And if you look carefully, you might find the evidence of our ancient ancestors. This one right here kind of looks like a bat, maybe it's a plant. And more recently, the Butterfield Overland Stagecoach Company and the Pony Express ran through here in the 1860s. That evidence is a little easier to see. And let's be responsible out there. Take only photos. We want many and many generations to enjoy these antiquities just as we are today. That's it. I hope you enjoyed Box Canyon in Florence, Arizona, just outside of Phoenix. We are going to take another trail, which you can find in our trail guides. And if you're looking for trails like this, check out Trails Off Road in the app stores or on the web, trailsoffroad.com. We really hope to see you guys out on the trail.